The 72nd Mississippi Economic Council's annual meeting wrapped up today on an optimistic note. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake was there and has more on what state leaders had to say about Mississippi's economy. Business leaders, stakeholders, and state officials all gathered downtown to discuss ways to improve and transform Mississippi's economy. Among them was the Mississippi Department of Corrections, who spoke about their transitional work programs helping Mississippi's economy and public safety. A lot of the work that we do revolves around construction trades like plumbing and electrical and HVAC. A lot of manual labor type jobs, but jobs that are in high demand so that the wage is high and that they're really integrating back into society the right way. It's important that those who are currently incarcerated and those who have felony backgrounds are in the workforce and part of our participation rates. Governor Tate Reeves touted historically low unemployment numbers and three bills signed this morning investing millions into medical and career coaching programs. We have the lowest unemployment rate in state history at 3.7 percent. These coaches are helping Mississippi students navigate the complexities of the labor market and helping to equip them with pathways to successful job opportunities. For the Economic Council, this year's meeting proved Mississippi can compete economically. Mississippi is no longer 50th, and we need to take pride in that. But we know that if we stop working, then everybody's going to catch us. We, we got to work twice as hard, and we've got to be successful, and we got to do it as a team. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.